Orale, mi raza. Welcome to another episode of the Orale Radio Show, exclusive here on OSARadio.com here in San Antonio, Texas. I am your DJ, DJ Orale. We have an awesome show today. We've got the ones and only out of San Antonio themselves. We got Monty and the Texas Silverados. Before we go into that interview, let's go and break for commercials. We'll be right back after these awesome messages. Palomita Attendance Services, LLC. Now catering to San Antonio, Corpus Christi, the Rio Grande Valley, and the surrounding areas. Helping with home cleaning, cooking, grooming, shopping, dressing, laundry, our safe attendance services. Call us now at 210-796-9490. That's 210-796-9490. Palomita Attendance Services. Now accepting Medicaid. Call us now. Y hablamos español. 210-796-9490. You're jamming out to OSARadio.com, San Antonio's very own, where we stream independent music 24-7 all the time. Orale, San Antonio. Orale, orale. Online radio. Welcome back to the Orale Radio Show. I am your DJ, DJ Orale, exclusive here on OSARadio.com. This is San Antonio, Texas. We have an awesome show. We have one of the greatest singers here in San Antonio, Texas. We've got Monty and the Texas Silverados. Hey, Monty, thank you for taking time off your busy schedule and coming into the radio station today. Well, thank you, Tony. First of all, I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity to be in the Orale Radio Station. Oh, not, not a problem. As a matter of fact, like I said, when I invited you, you jumped up to the game and said, hey, let's go ahead and do it. I like that, that uh, energy in a group. But let's go and talk about Monty. People want to know, I've been playing your songs lately, and uh, they're asking questions, okay, who's Monty? Where is he from? You've got the spotlight on you right now. Let's go and give a little bit of background on, on who is Monty and the Texas Silverados. <clears throat> well, Monty is actually, my original name is Armando Montoya. Okay. Armando Medina Montoya. Medina, but, okay, that's my middle name, brother. We might be related. Right? Yeah, that's right. Wow. Okay, go ahead, brother. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, I changed the name uh, of the band to Monty and the Texas Silverados. Uh, it used to be Armando Montoya and the Tejano Silverados, or Texas, because I played both country and Tejano. Okay. But uh, my name was so long that by the time I told you the name of the band, the gig was over. <laughs> it took you three hours to, uh, yeah. out, I guess, to introduce the band, right? Exactly. So then I, I decided, you know what, Monty, because some of my friends call me Monty because it's Armando Montoya compressed. Okay, it's right. Monty, you know, so that's how I came about the name. Uh, yeah, hence the name Monty and the Texas Silverados. Uh, let me ask you this question, Monty. You're actually my first guest, a band that's here on the Orale uh, radio show since uh, the plan. I call it the pandemic. Since oh, it took yeah. over, I kind of shut down for a little bit, but we're rocking and rolling 100 you know, miles per hour. So you're one of the first bands here, and I'm glad you're here talking about your band. How long have y'all been up and going, man? Well, Monty uh, has been around since 19, 1990. Okay. And uh, produced my first CD back in 1996. And then uh, 2000, I, I forget, you know, right. uh, what year. But uh, I uh, recorded another CD, but country CD, which is called Sundown, mm -hmm. and that's where uh, I have that over the hill in other songs, too. That's you know what, I, I've been uh, putting that on rotation, and they're requesting it over the hill. Let's go and do that. Let, let's pause there, okay. and let's go and check out one of Monty's CD here song, which is called Over the Hill. Shoot it. Oh. 
Orale, mi raza. That was an awesome uh, song, Over the Hill. Let's talk a little bit about Over the Hill. How did that song come about? Well, it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, uh, I was going to turn uh, the 50 Cent, the Tostón. Right. And, uh, the Big 5-0. The Big 5-0, man. And uh, I was feeling kind of, oh, man, I'm getting old, you know. And so anyways, they made me a surprise party. <clears throat> and then, uh, so, eh, you know. It was okay, uh, but then I go to the bathroom, okay, and I look at myself, and I says, damn, you look pretty darn good for 50. <laughs> I ain't over the hill. <laughs> and that's Hence how, the name, the title of the song. Exactly, and right. that's, that, that's how I came about that song, and I said, you know what, I'm going to make a song out of that. Well, you know what, since I started playing it a couple of weeks ago, a lot of people are saying, hey, that's a good song. And it gets them going, it gets them motivated, and, and I guess throughout the day, because most of the time they're, they're jamming out to the station at work. Uh, we're doing uh, basically a little bit of uh, San Antonio and abroad. We're in, in Colorado. We even have people out there in Colombia checking out the station. Wow. And we're just starting out, brother, so it's a good thing for all the independent bands out there. And bands making a big difference, kind of like your band as well. And uh, so that song came to play uh, over the hill. What about the lyrics? Uh, I've been hearing the lyrics as well. Tell me a little bit about the lyrics. Well, the lyrics, the lyrics is that, um, I'm, I'm trying to, to guess here, uh, when it's about... Uh, being over the hill. Being <laughs> over the hill and, and uh, being in the fast lane. Uh -huh. You know, uh, I'm not stopping. You know, I'm going full blast no matter how old I am. Uh, I'm not old, really. I'm, right. I think I, I, I know more. I wish I knew what I know now when I was younger. You know what? I think everybody says that. If I knew what I know now when I was young, I'd be, you know, millionaire ten times fold. Yes, you sir. Know? But uh, a while ago when you walked into the radio station, man, I, it looked like, you know, Clint Black was walking in there with your cowboy <laughs> hat, Stetson, and everything. Well, thank you. you know, That's and, a compliment. Yeah. No, it is a compliment because, like I say, I, I shoot straight, man. And I, I just like Emilio Navarra, just shoot, you know, just shoot it, right? And that's yes, right. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I appreciate you. And uh, let's get back into uh, your band and yourself. Uh, you are from here, San Antonio? Born and raised here in San Antonio. <clears throat> Actually, I'm from the barrio. The barrio, from South the side, west or? side. West Side. West Side, okay. <laughs> west Side in the house. Yes, sir. And that really, growing up in the West Side, and my parents not having enough money to buy these instruments. Because I wanted to be a musician way back. I was a musician when I was a teenager and stuff, but I wanted to have a band, but we didn't have the money to do it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, so later in life, it's when, you know, I went to college and started working and bought my own house, et cetera, and uh, I could afford equipment. Right. And I said, you know what, I'm going to do, I'm going to fulfill that little dream that I had. And, uh, and it happened, you know, one, one day at a time. Un día a la vez, como dice la canción. I'm telling you, man. The thing is, if you got a, if you got a, 
focus on, on something you want to do and just take it day by day, work hard. A lot of people told me, man, you're lucky. It's not luck. It's what we create every exactly. single day. You got to get up and, and just make it happen. While other people sleep, we're out here working. You're creating songs. You're, you, mean, mm -hmm. you, also, you also have a business on the side. Exactly. You know, exactly. So you're pretty much busy as well. And I'm glad you're here in the station. And, uh, let's move it on a little bit. I got yes. many more questions to ask you, Amantu. But let's go and break real quick. And let's go and jam out to this song titled Ropita. Orale. Orale Mi Raza, we're back again with the Orale Radio Show. I am your DJ, DJ Orale, exclusive here on OSARadio.com. We have an awesome, awesome guest today. We got Monty and the Texas Silverados. You just heard the song Ropita. Let's go and digest that song. Where did this song come from? How did you, uh, you know, write it? Well, first of all, <clears throat> most songs are always write about mi corazón, amor, te quiero, te perdí, whatever, you know. Yep. My dog ran, ran over or, or whatever. <laughs> A typical country song, <laughs> yeah. right? So uh, I wanted to do something, something fun, you know, something more innocent, you mm -hmm. know. So uh, you said, why not, why can't, you know, I started writing, and I started saying, you know what, I want to write something that, like I said, something nice, something not so sexy, right. etc. Mm -hmm. So, by being writing that I wanted to be her vestido, mm -hmm. hey, why not? Because she's gonna wear me. <laughs> you know what? It's I, I love the lyrics. If you really 
check out the lyrics. It's pretty funny, but it gets to the point. And it, it's a, it's a motiv motivating song, man. I mean, I love it. Just like the other one, uh, you know, uh, the one just heard over the hill. This song, I mean, you're always in the upbeat, man. I love that. So how long did it take you to write the, the song, uh, Ropita? Um, I can say uh, maybe like an hour. But, the, you know, you start the first verse and the second verse, and then you put it aside. Uh, uh, then you come back. Maybe it might take a, another week. And, and I'm thinking as, as I'm going, mm -hmm. I'm browsing through my mind, you know, ideas. Okay, I want to be, okay, el zapato. Then I start building there, ¿me entiendes? Right. You know, then I start thinking about clothing, okay? Also, quiero hacer su fragancia, porque el perfume mm -hmm. se lo va a poner en el cuerpo, so that's me, and I'm, I'm there in her body. <laughs> you know, most of these songs, uh, Monty, you, you write yourself, man. You do yes, everything sir. on it, basically. That, that's very talented uh, that uh, you do all that, and uh, the lyrics hit perfectly. You know, I love the lyrics as well. And especially on Ropita, it gets you going once, you know, it makes yes. you want to go out there and dance. I can't dance. Mm -hmm. I got two left feet, man. But uh, that song makes me, you know, go out there and want to dance, man. Well, you know, it's uh, Dios me da el, el, el talento. He gives me the gift. And he's the one that I got to give credit to because, you know, there were times in my life that I was stagnant. And now at an <clears throat> older age, um, mm -hmm. Actually, I'm still young. <laughs> you're young and hard, right? You, don't, exactly. you, you look like you're maybe, what, not even 40, man. Oh, you that's, put me to that, shame. Man, that, that's an insult, man. I thought I looked more like 19. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not going to get that extra bonus at all. Man, I thought I had it in the bag. That's okay. all right, Tony. You got that. You got, you got my, you know, the credit. There well, we yes, go. Um, and I was saying, uh, the, uh, you see, it's old age, that, brother. That it's over the hill. Forget, you're over the hill, brother. <laughs> Uh, okay, but you you were saying something about looking like uh, Clint Black or George Strait. <laughs> no. Is that what you were trying to say? I guess we were talking about the song, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that it took you, I guess, about a week, give or take. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And, uh, oh, yes, but, uh, pero, you know, it sounds good, man. And most of these songs are, are basically written by you. And uh, do you ever get, like, writer's block or anything like that? Some of the songwriters yes. that oh, I yeah. know, yeah, they, they just have to, like, walk away from it. Yes, and maybe a day or two and come up with new ideas? Yes, sir, because I, I have, you know, there's a lot more songs that I want to record, and there's some that I get stuck, you know, mm -hmm. and I just don't want to write anything. I want to I want to make it, uh, you know, I want to be clever, you know, and uh, so it does take me time. Sometimes, you know, there's some songs that I wrote in an hour. Mm, really? I mean, sometimes they come and go, you know. Oh, yes, sir. but anyway, all the songs that you have here, man, uh, you've got a CD called Sundown. Yeah. And uh, when did you record that CD? It's been a while, or yeah. It's it's been a while. I, mm -hmm. it, you know, it's been a while. Maybe a few years. I I want to say maybe like five, six years ago. Yeah, it's entitled "Sundown uh, Monty and the Texas Silverados." You know, do you have a website yet, or, or yes, I do. Okay, let's go and promote that because okay. I know you're gonna have a lot of fan letters uh, regarding hey, where can I get you know over the hill, Ropita, and what have you. Uh, let's go and promote your website and, uh, you know, your contact number information, man, if you want to do that. Sure. Correct. Okay. What, what's your website, Monty? My website is www.montyandthetxsilverados.com. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it's uh, Monty and A-N-D? A-N-D. Okay. A-N-D, T-X. No, it's, it's Monty and the Texas T-X. Silverados. Silverados. With, with the yes, pro. Yes. Dot com. Dot com. Okay, great. And what about your contact numbers? Because I'm pretty sure, I mean, I've heard y'all live. Y'all sound real good, man. It's not a garage band, that's for sure, man. You sure ought to be up in the top 10. Uh, when can they, con or can they contact you? Would you do private parties and events and what have you? Anything, man. Okay, get, yeah. shoot me off your, your contact numbers now. Okay, my, my phone number is 210 367 Three six seven six six eight eight six six eight eight. Okay, let me run that again. It's two ten three six seven six six eight eight. This is directly to you. Correct. Okay. That one, don't call him and you know any crank calls to Monty. He's real serious. He, if you have a a quinceañera, any weddings, event, yeah, whatever, to call you and then that way you can uh, go and talk to him and, and take it from there. Again, Monty, you know, I know you're busy, and uh, you've got a lot of stuff to do. You've got a lot of, you know, plus your, your work as, as well. I want to thank you again for making it down here to the radio station. 
And, you know, being Thursday and what have you during the day, you make time, man. Yes, I sir. Mean, you look slicker than slick. Well, well. You, you you make me look bad. Now I'm going to go buy me a Stetson hat. You know, you know what about, you know, you put on a Stetson hat, you look like uh, George Strait, man. I, thank I you. put one on, I looked at the, like the Jardinero, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm, well, you, can, gardener, you, can, you can call me George Crooked. George Crooked? Jo George is straight. I'm crooked. Oh, no, no. no, no, it, <laughs> no it's, it's Monty and uh, Texas Silverados. Monty, anything in clothes you want to add to this? Okay, now uh, they can also reach me in the email. Okay, yeah. let's go and shoot. Yeah, shoot me off your email as well. Right now, I'm using A M A M U L U L T I T I Design D E S I G N. Okay, Design. Okay. At Yahoo.com. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and put a link to it. Okay. On the radio station, and then. If you go and uh, go on osaradio.com, you can check this out starting next week. I believe it's going to start airing on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, once it starts airing, I'll have a link where you can contact him directly. You will have pictures of Monty and the, and the Texas Silverados of him and his Stetson hat, looking like George Strait and you know and, and, and my horse and, and his horse. Uh, you brought a, a what was it a donkey or what, what kind of, <laughs> or was it a horse? A un burro, un burro, un burro. Well, I think I can hear him in the background. Man. I think you have to go feed him already. Yeah. So let's let's go on uh, another man. I want to thank you again for making it down to the OSA radio station and uh, doing a segment here on the Orale Radio Show. No, thank you, Tony. Thank okay, you. and there you have it, guys. Monty and the Texas Silverados. Remember, check him out. Call him. All the information will be linked off on OSA Radio. Orale Raza. We'll see you next time. Orale.